China has now further optimized its COVID-19 response strategy, and the most populous nation on Earth is making steady strides back to normal. COVID-19 has raged on around the world for three years. Maybe now is the time for us to look ahead. But by looking back first, how did we get where we are today? And how could we define our three years battle against COVID? Three years ago, I went to Wuhan at the very early stage of the outbreak. And I saw a fight. It was the most widely mobilized campaign I have ever seen. Doctors, volunteers, disinfectant workers, delivery men, medics from armed forces, and every single resident who stayed at home biding time. They all resolutely joined together in a fight against an unheard of, unexpected, deadly infectious disease. A fight that took place in a city of 11 million people under 76 days of unprecedented lockdown. A fight that drew the strength of the entire nation with over 40,000 medical workers from across China rushing to one city just to face down an enemy invisible to the naked eyes. From newborns to centenarians, no COVID patients have ever been given up on, and 94% of the infected in Wuhan were cured or recovered. Life come before all else. China is set to lift lockdown measures on Wuhan in just over two weeks. The city of Wuhan has allowed people to leave. Wuhan has opened its doors again. The end of Wuhan's lockdown in April 2020 marked the end of the first wave of the COVID-19 in China. But the fight was far from over. Over the past three years, China has dealt with over 100 cluster outbreaks and kept the nationwide fatality rate at a relatively low level. The key word here is prevention. You know, China was the first to have to deal with this. It's always hardest to be the country where something emerges first because so little is known about it. With the initial success in Wuhan and accumulated experience in epidemic containment, China developed a system of COVID-19 prevention and control. The prevention measures entailed viral detection and contact tracing in a precise and targeted manner. The digital travel code, for example, enabled the tracking of individuals' cross-city travels for local authorities to take targeted steps to prevent contagion risks. This tool provided query service for 89 billion times. China's effective prevention approach bought time for medical R&D and the launch of the world's biggest mass vaccination campaign. As the coronavirus variants mutated from Alpha to Delta and to Omicron, China has already vaccinated 90% of its 1.4 billion people. Even though China never considers anti-epidemic efforts and economic growth as an either-or choice, the world's second biggest economy follows through delicate and balanced coordination. In 2020, China was the first major economy across the globe that registered growth. At its average annual growth rate in 2020 and 21, reached 5.1%. More surprisingly, the country even managed the hard-won feat of eradicating absolute poverty as scheduled, despite the disruptions caused by the pandemic. China is the only major economy in the world that has managed to avoid a contraction in 2020. Yeah, that China was able to uh, uh, put the, uh, to, to grow as fast as it did, given the weakness all around the global economy right now, is, is quite remarkable. Through various stages of mutation, the virus has become less deadly. In a planned, science-based approach, China optimized its COVID-19 response strategy. As the virus turned weaker, the COVID response system grew stronger. In 2021, China inaugurated National Administration of Disease Prevention and Control, with its role expanded from containing diseases to safeguarding health of the entire population. China has issued a series of guidelines to prepare the country's healthcare system and ramped up vaccination efforts among the senior group. A safety net has also been created at the grassroots to fend off possible infection surges. With 35,000 fever clinics open in primary level medical institutions by December 2022. More prepared and experienced, China further optimizes COVID response on December the 7th, 2022. 
by rolling out more effective containment measures, China is well on its way to return to normal. At present, China combines the normalized and emergency response, improving disease monitoring and strengthening the protection of key groups. The focus of prevention and control work has shifted from infection prevention to safeguarding health and containing severe cases. Normal life is built on a normalized approach. What's been going on over the past three years has changed everyone's lives. A protracted battle against COVID has made us cherish what we once took for granted. And by meeting this challenge head on, we've earned the right to once again look ahead. We fought, prevented, coordinated, and optimized. As the final victory of living a normal life is within our grasp. <laughs>